<laughs> Hello YouTube, how the devil are you? Me back with another video. It's my second video I've done today. It is the 16th of October. Obviously I've done the PS1 racing game challenge earlier. This one I will probably put this one up it's Wednesday today. Probably put this one up on Saturday. I expect obviously you know what it is from the title. It's my pickups and channel update what I've been up to for the month. Uh yeah. First off, we've mentioned the game day to this month's PS1 Racing Game Challenge. Running until the 16th of November. For anyone who wants to get involved. And like I said, that was one of my pickups this month from Blackpool. But obviously, I covered my Blackpool pickups in the my little Blackpool recap. So I won't be showing any of them ones here. Otherwise, it might run on a little bit too long. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if you're going to hear the rain at the end of the, the window now. Obviously, I'm up in the, the attic. Yeah, you know, it's a brilliant intro. Start the um, intro of this game, fair play. I was quite shocked how well that played. And I was shocked as well. I mean, it did play. Because obviously, I didn't see the disc when I bought it. I got it from Eclipse Games in Blackwood. But it plays Blackwood. I always call it Blackwood. Blackpool. But it plays fine, fair play. Right then, you know the drill, I've got to get on my knees. <laughs> right, um, what was I going to say? I'll just turn out just a little tad. There we are. Um, yes, yeah, Cardiff Games Market this weekend, but I won't be going because, like I said, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. October is such a, um, an epic month for us. Got the father-in-law's birthday, the two kids' birthdays, an anniversary. I think we got a, one of the nieces' birthdays as well. But not just that, on Sunday, my daughter is playing her first match for a year. In a year, because obviously she's done her ACL, so she had the operation. And Sunday's her first match back, so yeah, can't, can't wait for that. I'm nervous. And obviously she's nervous. Not excitedly nervous she is if you know what I mean I'm just worried I don't want to get injured not again but yeah like I said she's been training all that fine doing everything in training doing like little matches games and training so hopefully she'll be okay anyway right then so what have I been up to this month obviously we had played Blackpool uh two weeks ago oh, I loved it absolutely loved it because I think it's only now I'm coming down from it. Like I said, so many great guys. Like I said, everyone who was here was quality. Really, really great guys. I did miss two people's names or what I said about the Friday night. I forgot to bump into, um, I say bump into, I'm talking to Russ Newton and Paul on the back wheel as well. That was quite early on the Friday night, that was. I think they went down to town there and they did, I think. So yeah, got it. Sorry, I, I don't even think they do YouTube anymore now, but yeah, I thought I'd mention that. So right then, what have I been doing this month? So we're going to start with films, games and then pickups. Obviously films and I'm going to whip through these quick. So I finished Rings of Power. Quite enjoyed that actually, that was good, fair play. Watch the cable guy. <laughs> I said, yeah. Back in the day, right, it was slated. I didn't mind it actually watching it now, a few years on. See some stepped on, son. Alvida saying pet, only fools and horses. One foot in the grave, I've been watching on the buses. Yeah, they, that stuff is just a given. I'm watching that every month. I watched The Punisher with, oh, can't remember the guy's name now, played The Punisher, but John Travolta, isn't it? That was good, I didn't mind that. We watched Poltergeist, the remake. Like I said, good, enjoyed that. Um, Soul 1 and 2 we've watched. What else did I watch? I've watched another horror. I've watched another horror. I'm trying to do all horror films and stuff like that through October. Oh, I thought I was going to yawn in. And I've also watched some He-Man and some Transformers 1986 movie. Now I watched He-Man on the Saturday morning. I've played, dude in the play Blackpool again. Me and Madman, we shared a room up there. And then on a Sunday, we watched um, Transformers 1986 movie as well. So, yeah, 
that was uh, good. I think Matt Man really enjoyed uh, that as well with some cartoons, early morning cartoons. So happy days, that's that. Games I've been playing. I got one year, I won't mention I'll save that for after. Done a bit of Arrow Flash for the Meg Drive Challenge. Obviously played Wipeout. Played a little bit of uh, motocross with Ricky Carmichael. Uh, championship motocross, sorry. What else I done? Obviously played some Turbo and that was great playing that on the arcade. I've been Blackpool. Enduro Racer. Played the one with just the handlebars and the one when you're on the bikes. So that was great playing that after all these years. Daytona, Bosconian, Jungle Hunt. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat 2, Golden Axe, which me and Ollie completed. 1942. What else have I played? Played some R type up in arcade club. Yeah, so played quite a good few games actually. Right. Two of them on here I will save because they for pickups. Well the one is like a digital one anyway, but I'll get that there, you know. So yeah. Right. So yeah, quite went for that quite quick, eh? <laughs> um, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I forget what I'm gonna say all the time. I. So yeah, so as I said in the last video, my boy have gone to uni now, and we sort him through his room and this stuff I see that I like. I think, oh yeah, I love that. Instead of putting it like in a box, now I'm gonna keep it down. I put it out up here. So I've had his desk, his computer desk, because mine was terrible. So I got his now, which is nice, and I put a few little things on there as well to brighten it up. And she, my missus loves it now having some of this little bits in the kitchen. And she said, what do you want to have there for? I said, we've got to have a bit of colour now. now. <laughs> so yeah, that's on my works desk now, which was his desk, but it's now mine, obviously. So yeah, other things he had in his room, which I really like, is, I remember buying him this actually. It's a little bit faded now, we've had it, uh, the son of had it. So this is uh, Howard the Duck. Like I said, as soon as I see that, I'd get that for him. Because he likes Mar lovely Marvel and all that anyway. But uh, yeah, and, yeah, that will come out of the box. So that's that one. We had some Liu Khan, Mortal Kombat. Um, Katana. I said some more, I gotta get out of these. Raiden. This one I have, I love this one. This is awesome, this, um, yeah, Hot Topic exclusive. I think this is, I don't wear this sword after all, it goes a little bit more than the originals. That's a Flaming Skull Scorpion. So yeah, well happy with that. Like I said, I wouldn't mind getting the original Scorpion and Sub-Zero as well now. So that's there. So got three more pops to show. So we got Pennywise from it. Like I said, oh we watched it as well. Forgot to say about that here. Yeah. So that's Pennywise there. We got uh, some Chucky from Child's Play Tour. And just got this all like Halloween as well. And my favourite one out of the lot of them. Some Jason A. Eh? So yeah, well. Uh, that old Friday the 13th block. So yeah, well happy with them ones. So that's what I had out of his room this month. <laughs> There's still other stuff there that I got to sort out. So yeah, so I haven't got many pickups to show. So what I'll do first now, I'm going to show DVD first. And it's a little box set. Now I picked this up because it's Halloween month as well. And I seen Scott Seeger Zombie showed. I think he picked up one of these in... His recent pickups video. But I thought I went up. I searched this. I seen the trilogy. <sighs> Sorry I was up early this morning. Um, yeah so I seen the trilogy. And I had to get it. And that's um, the Evil Dead trilogy. But this is awesome. That's the Evil Dead trilogy. I love that. It opens up. I'll get that one as well. So yeah, so they will be getting watched this month. So that was six quid. I was off in did so yeah, can't fault that can I? That's that. What else did I buy? I got some box, two box to show. Like I said, I, I want to pick up a snare soon. Like I said, I want a, a nice priced one. If I can get one with a couple of games as well, happy days. I got the cash here for it. 
Probably done a little bit of cash work. So yeah, I seen this. Now I thought this was going to be bigger than what it was. It was only two bow. It's like uh, the snares a complete manual. So yeah, like I said, it's uh, not too bad. It was like a little bit thing. It's getting better now. It wasn't sticky, but it's like if it folded a little bit on the inside. So yeah, like I said, looking forward to uh, going through that and uh, some game recommendations. This, honestly, like I've been watching, been after this for ages. I know it seemed to be like a little bit more than what I wanted to pay for it. And when I seen this, how much I paid for this? Fuck, I should have checked. Sure, I paid. It wasn't a lot. It might be six or seven pound. Set. So around that, sure it was. But I seen this, and it was one of the ones. There's no when you get sent an offer, and you think, oh no, don't worry, I won't bother it. And then you know it's like one left, and other people are watching it. And I thought, no, go on, I gotta go and get this. And that is a uh, Sega, Sega <laughs> arcade classics. Look at that. That's awesome, man. Because I'm uh, Golden Axe, Alex Kid. Hold over, over. But is that Dynamite Ducks here? Eh? Yes, yeah, Dynamite Ducks here. Eh? What else we got? This Space Aria, Altered Beast, Shadow Dancer. Yeah. So there's a list of the. The games and all that is covered so yeah like i said obviously was well happy when they had some wonder boy in you when i seen that in ground alien syndrome power drift galaxy force oh some thunder blade they look quartet oh yeah look at that look at that for a bit of goodness look i'm all wonder boy love eh? so yeah well happy to get that that's that. Da, 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 da. Right then, so now we're on the game stuff now. So I'll say about the digital stuff I bought. I paid. Oh, I tell you what, it was on a really good offer. I think it was either £2 or not or £3. But it was cheap and it was um Raiden 5 is it the Mercado remix. So yeah, downloaded that on the Switch. And then it was one and it was £11. And it was a triple pack on the Xbox One. It was Toki, Joe and Mac. Shit, what was the other one? Oh, God. Can't remember the other game in it now. But I played through Toki and it's great. And I'm sure. I don't know where it's just in my head. But I'm sure it plays different than the Switch. Just the remake. I'm sure it plays different. A little bit different. So, yeah. Anyway, that's them two I bought. I also bought... I don't know if you can see this game stick thing up here. Let's have a look. Yeah. We got this. I think this was £15. And. Yeah. £15. And oh, it's loads of emulators. I don't know whether. Is that going to show you now? Can you see Wonder Boy there? Let's have a look. It's not going to show us a bit too bright. Uh, there we are. Look. Let me just pop you back here in a minute. So yeah. Like I said, well apt to have that. It comes with like um PS3 style controls. I got two of these. So yeah, the games played really well in a fair play. Like some of them have got some different names, but it's easy to work out what the games are. I don't know now, and it's like all the lighting have gone a bit uh, bit dark. So yeah, that was £15. So I'm well happy with that. Like I said, <clears throat> like I said it's always handy to have a few um emulator type stuff in it with games on so all if anything happens to one and you've got the others to play. And I'm crap at doing stuff like that myself, so I thought, yeah, happy days, we'll have that. And I bought a game, and my Switch, I got a Switch wired controller that I use, and the joystick now is going dodgy on it. So, I had a look, went on Argos, two for £25. And I thought, happy days, we'll get there. Now, this is what I'm using at the moment now, the Yoshi one. So that's that, I thought I'd keep the box this time, because all my last one's out of the box, stupidly chucked it out. Mm. Obviously wish I didn't now. That's a Zelda one I got. And this was the only other one I had in stock here as well, on 2 for 25. And I was Super Mario one, so I thought 2 for 25, happy days. Like I said, a 
like as much use as the last one I had, which I played for all Breath of Wild, all Tears of the Kingdom, uh, Link's Reawakening, and a load of other games. So, you know, as far as six years, so I can get six years out there and six years out of that, I'm happy. And you know, I like the box as well, so I wouldn't mind getting some more of them actually. So, right then, we're down to the last pickup now, and I had luck earlier, and I've put four, over 40 hours into this game so far, and tell you what, I absolutely fucking love it. It's brilliant. Absolute class. I was talking to Ed about this at Blackpool, and I've messaged him since, Red Red, and that is Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, it's so it's brilliant. Honestly, I got mine from shop2.net to come with a... A poster as well. I'm trying to keep that sealed for the moment. Like I said, it's not that big, so I wouldn't mind at some point I like, get in it frame perhaps. But yeah, honest God, guys, this game is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yes, and it's going to sound really dull now, right? Because I'm playing it as fresh. You no, know it's like when you play a game and you're there and you're caught up in it. But I would say, and split the modern, right, and retro. Because all the retro stuff is more like nostalgia, we know that. But I honestly think this is one of the best games I've ever played. It's, it's brilliant. And for modern gaming, so if we talk in, like Xbox 360 era, then from that onwards, that is definitely in my top 10 might even be in my top 5 games that I've played in a modern generation which is mad because oh my gosh it's a big corner and only think of that because Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild I always put them two together even though they're two games I always put them together but they would be in it um, obviously this up here would be in a link between worlds and then i can't reach it out over there for monster boy i mean but this is right up there it's absolutely brilliant fair play yes i think this i love right for different reasons and it's brilliant it's one of the best games i've ever played it's phenomenal and i got a lot of attachments to it and Obviously, because, well, like I said, I've said the story about that before. Da. But I think this is the best, like, top-down style Zelda that I've played anyway. Like I said, it's like a mix between Link's Reawakening and Tears of the Kingdom. It's very similar to that. And, yeah, anyway, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to go down and play a little bit more now, actually. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, cheers for watching guys. I hope everyone has had a great month. Like I said, I'll get this up on Saturday, which will be the 19th. Yeah, it'll be the 19th. I don't know, don't think I'll... Well, I haven't planned to pick up anything else through the month, but you never know. And if I do, that'll just be a next month's pickup. Now, oh, I tell you what I just, what I just watched as well. The Monkeys, Digital Monkey, just part I just literally watch this pickup video now and he was at Blackpool as well like I said didn't have a chance to really talk it was just more like a high because when we was by the retro gamer odyssey talking to James he come up he's gonna have a little go over so yeah I got that I didn't have a chance to talk to him properly and all that day but yeah he's a great guy fair play and he just put up a pickups video now and he's going for like like the Meg Drive movie games and that so yeah, I'll put a link to his video in the description. Go and check him out. Like I said, he's a really nice guy. And anyway, yeah. That's all from me, guys. Uh, cheers for watching. Hope everyone's well. If you got Championship Motocross featuring Ricky Carmichael, get involved with the PS1 Challenge. And anyway, guys, I'm out here. Catch you in the next one. All the best.